Welcome to a new episode of Ausfahr TV in English with me, your broken English host, Mr. Z. I'm here in Ingolstadt today. An Audi team is filming me and they're cutting this clip as well. So here is all Allah. Schön, dass ich das alles so gut kann. Klatschen, oder? Gerne. Welcome to a new episode of Ausfahrt TV in English with me, your broken English host, Mr. Z. I'm in Ingolstadt today and I'm here to present you the all new Audi A4. The history of the Audi A4 starts in 1972 with the Audi 80. So it was the first mid-class sedan from Audi in the segment. And uh, in 1994, they changed the name from Audi 80 to Audi A4. And uh, funny, so the internal name for the first Audi A4 was B5. However, um, the new version, the fifth generation of the Audi A4 will be presented at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. You will be able to uh, order the car in August, at least in Germany, and most probably in other European markets as well. And first delivery is due November this year. Um, the car will, by the way, be produced. It's made in Germany for the European market. It will be produced in Ingolstadt for the North American market in Neckarsholm in Germany as well and the Chinese market will get their own factory and they start production in 2016. For the marked start, well at least in Germany, Audi is uh, giving you the choice of three different petrol engines and four diesel engines. Uh, Audi claims that all the engines got 21% um, more efficient and they are 25% more powerful. Um, for the petrol engines, we have a 1.4 liter TFSI engine with 150 horsepower and two two liter TFSI engine, one with 190 and the other one with 252 horsepower. For the diesel engines, we will have two two liter TDI engines, one with 150, the other one with 190 horsepower. And then we will have two three liter V6 TDI engines, one with 218 and the other one with 272 horsepower. By the end of next year, so by the end of 2016, Audi will as well offer a gas engine, an uh, Audi A4 G-Tron uh, with 170 horsepower, but this will be just available as an E-State version. Depending on your engine, you have the choice between a 6-speed manual transmission, a 7-speed uh, S-Tronic automatic transmission, and for the biggest uh, diesel engine, they offer an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission. All, uh, both of the automatic transmission will work uh, with coasting, so you can use them um, very fuel efficient. As usual, the Audi A4 will have front-wheel drive, but of course you can order the all-wheel drive as well, so the Quadro powertrain. And uh, this will be for the market start available for the bigger gasoline engine and all the diesel engines starting at 190 horsepower. The Quadro powertrain was new developed for the A4 and under regular conditions you have 40% of the power on the front axis and 60% on the rear axis. And according to the driving condition you're in, you can have up to 70% on the front axis or up to 85% on the rear axis. Audi says they redeveloped the whole power steering and if you buy an engine with more than 150 horsepower you get the dynamic steering not as an option but as part of the uh, factory model. And as well the whole suspension got uh, redesigned uh, so next to the normal suspension you will have the choice between two adaptive suspension sets um, which lower the car depending on uh, the setting you choose. And by the end, no, no, by later 2016, they will offer a sports suspension pack as well. With the new generation of the Audi 
A4, um, they started a new type of rolling out their design lines. Uh, until today, every market had its own way to present and sell the Audi. Um, now they are giving all the markets the opportunity to use the same model. If your market is using this, I can tell you, however, I want to explain it sh briefly. So we decide now between, first of all, the very basis model, no one buys it anyway, and a design or sport package. So with a basic design and sport package, we have a little bit of exterior changing at the car and looking a little bit more fancy. With design, it's more elegant. With sport, it's of course more sporty. If you want more of it, then you choose a line design selection. You have even more exterior features and foremost, more interior features from this design line. And for sport, <coughs> it's S-Line. Well, you, you remember S-Line. So sport S-Line and design, design selection. But you can say, well, I want everything inside very elegant, so interior design selection and the outside more sporty, so you can combine the uh, design selection inside with the S-Line exterior. Which is the easiest way to make a car more efficient? You make it lighter. So the E-State version is 120 kilograms lighter than the previous model, while at the sedan it's 110 kilograms. And Audi manages this using a special mix of materials and they look exactly which material do I need at which place and what can we reduce. Well, you know, we are always complaining, at least I was, about the new versions of Audi's car because I was saying, well, where's the difference to the previous model? I think with the A4, they make a big change in the design so you can re really see this is a new model. And uh, we have certain design features where the fr single frame grille is one of the biggest features from the whole Audi front. It's sharpened a little bit, it's a little bit more three-dimensional and you have different colors. It's not the usual plastic black now, but they um, put paint on it even with chrome particles. And um, since most manufacturers from the Volkswagen company do it, Audi as well, they put a lot of horizontal lines in the car design to make the car look a little bit more sporty, aggressive, powerful, full of strength. And so uh, the car is a little bit wider too, about 16 millimeters. Um, you don't get halogen um, front lights anymore, so by factory settings, all Audi R4 will have xenon lights. As an option, you can order full LED and even matrix LED lights with all those options. In 2012, Mercedes introduced the Mercedes CLA and they were bragging around for the best drag coefficient for a protection car with a value of 0.23. Well, Audi just did the same. This car, the sedan, has a um, value of 0.23, while the Avance, the Estate version, has a value of uh, 0.26. So you get a feeling that even with all the edges in the design, and this car does not look like a streamliner, um, you get a real good value and you can get a real efficient car this way. How did they manage it? Well, first of all, tiny details, for instance, like the rear mirror, it's now they put it on the door now, so it's standing free on the door. It has some edges here as well, and they all have a reason. So everything on the car, and especially under the car as well, is made to make this car really streamlined and very efficient concerning the wind. So even the gas tank below the car has its own spoiler to get better values. Um, just as a side note, at least in Germany, the car starts with 15 different colors. This color is called Era Blue, and you can't order it, while this red of the Estate version of the Avant is called Tango Red, and this one you can order. Besides that, um, this car 
comes on a factory setting with 16 inch alloy wheels and here on our demonstration cars we have 18 inch alloy wheels they are optional and if they're too small for you you can order from Audi even 19 inch alloy wheels. Besides that the car is a little bit longer than the previous model it's now 4.73 meters long so it gained 16 millimeters and the wheelbase is now 2 meters and 82 centimeters it gained 12 millimeters while in the inside you know I call it magic they have 17 millimeters of more space. With the new white hood that covers the whole front car you see that it is already the start of the tornado line that goes throughout the whole car and ends in the rear lights. Besides the line divides here, goes up and stays on the horizontal line while the upper part starts to be the spoiler of the hood. Uh, the capacity, the storage capacity of the trunk did not change. You still have 480 liters within the sedan, while the Estate version, uh, the Avant, gained 15 liters and has now a uh, um, capacity of 505 liters. Once you flip the back seats, it's even 1510 liters. High quality, light and spacious. This is the way Audi describes the new interior design for the all-new Audi A4. And before I get inside and show you at least a little bit around, because the major part will be in our uh, in-depth review later this year, I would like to point out the handle. Yes, it is just an ordinary handle of an ordinary door, but since uh, we are all used to pull the handle, they changed it a little bit and you lift it up a little bit. So it's much easier if you open the door just to lift it up instead of pulling it to the side. And I think that shows how many uh, ideas go into a new car and how they uh, make it better every time they release a new version. So I really love the handle and of course I'd like to take a seat in the new Audi A4. Come inside with me. Uh, well, here I am in the all-new Audi A4 and you might, uh, if you have seen the Audi Q7 uh, clips, the review from us uh, and maybe even the review of the Audi TT, the new one, you see that the whole interior is a little bit of a mixture of both cars uh, for the good, I think. Um, I'm sitting on new seats, the steering wheels are new, we have a new display for the MMI 8.3 inch and we have the virtual cockpit behind the steering wheel as an option at least. Um, so you have all the advantages that came with the latest model from Audi as well here in the Audi A4. And I think they did a good job. By the way, they did a lot with aero acoustics to make the whole drive smoother and uh, more silent inside and um, to to do something with all the silence they offer the Bang & Olufsen 3D sound system for the A4 as well. So I think that's uh, pretty neat. I won't show you much more because that's a part of our in-depth review when we get to drive the car but I think for a first impression this is pretty much uh, okay for you. If you've watched our Audi Q7 video and if you haven't please do so because I'm introducing all the assist systems uh, to you and all the assist systems from the Audi Q7 are available in the Audi A4 as well except the night vision and I really I'm a huge fan of this predictive efficiency age, uh, assist that gathers all the information from all the sensors of the car and helps you saving fuel and uh, nerves, you know, a power nerves, whatever you want to call it. This system takes the, the, the data from the map. For instance, you're driving on the highway and you're driving with 70 miles per hour and then there's a speed limit 55. And the car automatic, once you have 
uh, the ACC uh, activated, the car automatic takes the speed limit and slows down the car to 55 miles an hour. Or you're on a country road and you go like a whatever 55 miles per hour and behind a curve is uh, the start of the city limits where you have to brake uh, slow down your car anyway and you don't see it so the car sees it and once you have the ACC activated the car slows down the, uh, the, the, the car or is, uh, is even starting to coast to lower your, your fuel consumption and I think that's a pretty neat idea beside it helps you um, driving less stressful. Well, I already mentioned that the Audi engineers managed to bring 17 more millimeters of space and length uh, inside the new Audi A4 and uh, you gained about 23 millimeters of more space for your knees. I'm 5'11", 180 centimeters tall and I can sit here on the back pretty comfy. So um, I'm looking forward to really test this car and by the way the new Audi tablet will be available for the MMI in the um, new Audi A4 as well. Well, that's me from Mr. Z. Um, pricing, I can tell you about your markets. The only thing I can tell you in Germany, it's not getting more expensive than the previous model. Uh, besides that, you will get more and more information in between the next two to four weeks. If you have any questions about my little presentations, please put them in the comments. There's more knowledge in my little brain about the car. And uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe our channel, give me a like if you like the video. Uh, I'm saying goodbye. Yours, Mr. Z.